everyone. China is in grave danger. There's an epidemic. And us herbalists are going to try to find the cure. And we are going to do this in Herbalism, the new game by Emperor S4. Are you interested? I'm going to of course explain the game to you first. And after that, I'm going to tell you if it is exciting and fun to play this game. your goal is to be the first player who is going to find out the cure which consists of two cards that are going to be set secretly aside at the start of the game and all the other cards so two of the 14 are going to be secretly aside and all the other cards the other 12 cards are going to be dealt to all the players so depending on the number of players you're going to get three or four cards at the start of the game there is a little card reference card that shows you how many cards are in there for for every uh, color. So there are five blue, blue, four green, three yellow and two red cards in the game. The way to find out what cards are in the other player's hands is going to be achieved by choosing one of these three actions every turn. You're going to do this by putting this pip on one of those three cards and taking your coin and putting those on one of the color combinations. So the first action it's going to be that you choose one of the other players and she, he or she has to give all of the green cards or all of the yellow cards. If he doesn't have any of those, he is not going to be able to give any of those. Of course, all of the actions that you see here, you have to do secretly so that the other players don't find out um, what the, the information is that you just got. So, let's say I'm just going to get rid of this one. I'm gonna put that there and let's say you're going to do this action. This action says that the other player, if he has them, he has to give one of the one color and one of the other color. But if he only has one color, he is only, he is only uh, going to have to give the one color that he has. But he has to give them. So he cannot choose like this one what cards he's going to give. He has to give all of that he has but only one of each. The third and last action is going to consist of you giving one card, one card of one of the colors that you choose. Um, so maybe you give them the green card, and the other player has to give all of the uh, all of the cards of the other color that you choose. So in this case, you would say, okay, I'll give you one green card, and you have to give me all your red cards. So this is going to continue this taking actions and um, trying to guess what all the cards are that are in the game and which two cards do, do, are not in the game and are actually lying here until one player thinks he knows the answer. When that happens, the player uh, takes his answer token and is going to put it on one of the cards that is here. So this card is only used for guessing. It's not going to be used to do one of the actions, but there's also, of course, a possibility that the cards are the same. So that's why this card is right here. So he's going to take his answer token and he's going to put it on one of the cards. Let's say he really thinks it's going to be a yellow and a green card. Now all the other players are allowed to follow this or to not follow. They are going to be able to do this by turning over their, uh, their answer card and there they say follow or not follow. So if they follow, they're going to put their own pip next to it. And uh, if every player gets to say this and when this is done, the player that wants to, to uh, guess is going to be able to look at the cards. So in this case, oh, I put it right there, right? So in this case, oh no, he got it totally wrong. And he's going to put those back and he is out of the game for this round. Every player that followed is also out of the game and they even get one minus point for being the player that didn't really uh, correctly follow the other player. In case that he did get it correct, 
the player that uh, guessed is going to get three points and the play all the players that followed correctly are going to get one point. So then the round is over and you're going to start a new round and the game actually says that you're going to play until someone has six points. The most important thing in herbalism is if you're going to be able to remember everything because after a while your cards are of course in other players hands and you have to really keep track of what cards did I already see? What colors do I still don't know how many there are in all the players' hands? And where are my cards right now? Uh, that is something that is pretty interesting, but there's also the downside of it because some players just are not really good at memory style games and they're already shied away because of the heavy remembering in this game that you have to do. The theme is of course pretty cool, but um, it is actually pretty thin because it, the most important thing is of course um, switching uh, cards between each other and that is where the real uh, interesting decisions uh, are going to be. Because sometimes uh, you don't want to give one of your cards to another player because that is just going to give too much information. So that is an action that you want to do more at the end of the game when you are going to be able to give a card that you already received and you know that that person already has that information. But in this way, by giving them the card, you are forcing them to give all of the, maybe all of their blue cards to you. And in this way, you are going to get information, but they are not going to have that information that you just got. So that is something to really keep track of. The artwork and the quality of the game is really great. The art really pops. The only thing that's a little bit scary are those black soulless eyes. But if you uh, watch uh, around this, the artwork just is really beautiful with all these different uh, kind of plans on every card. I do think with this game, it's very important that you have people at the same skill level at remembering things. This is not a game that you want to play with children and adults because the children are just not going to be able to remember everything like the adults did. But if you play this game with people that are at the same skill level, it can be very tense and very interesting to try to find out everything and figuring out where all the cards are. I very much liked uh, Herbalism. It's an interesting uh, filler style game and I think you should really try it out if you like uh, games where you have this remember aspect in it. So that is Herbalism by Emperor S4 Games. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.